gets any longer Day by day it's getting stronger I want it, you want it It's what the people want to see Well, like Romeo and Juliet Families came to find us Like the tallest mountain on the water sea Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, it's Natalie Unfortunately, Jeevan is at work today, but it's okay because today's video is going to be all about what it's been like from my perspective, or for me personally, having to hide a relationship for five years. Before we get into the video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to all of the people who watched our first YouTube video. We were super excited to upload and share our story with the world, and the amount of positive feedback that we got back was awesome. Thank you guys so much for sharing the video, liking it, commenting, subscribing. Thank you guys for sharing your stories. You know, my aunt posted it on her Facebook and a lot of people were commenting their personal stories of what they've been through, whether it's through an interracial relationship or not. We really do appreciate you sharing your story with us and it, it gives us a sense of comfort that there are other people out there like us or going through a similar situation. So thank you again so much. But other than that, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, so let me start off by saying that when Jeevan and I agreed to hide our relationship in 2011, we had no clue what we were getting ourselves into. We just knew that we were madly in love and that we were willing to do whatever it took to stay together. Um, it definitely took a lot of strength it definitely took a lot of perseverance, a lot of communication. <laughs> communication is probably the most important thing that saved our relationship for us and that has kept it going strong for going on six years now. One of the misconceptions that I had about hiding our relationship was that it was going to be like a movie where the daughter or son sneaks out the window and goes to the boyfriend or girlfriend's car, they go on their date, and the parents are asleep and have no clue that the son or daughter even left the house. And they make it back just in the nick of time before their mom or dad walks in and sees them sleeping. And so I was definitely wrong. <laughs> it was not like that, having to hide. It gave us a greater value for a relationship, a greater appreciation, definitely. It made us appreciate the little things a lot more because we didn't have a quote-unquote normal relationship. Um, so we didn't get to do those things that normal relationships get to do, like go on certain dates, make phone calls at certain times, you know, go over to each other's houses for dinner, for family dinners, um, attend birthday parties. I didn't get to attend Jeevan's graduation because his family was there. Just, there honestly were a lot of things that we both missed out on, but in, at the end of the day, everything that we went through was all worth it. So let me start off by saying that when I say that we hit our relationship, that means a lot of different things. We had to hide in a lot of different ways. I want to go ahead and give you guys some examples of what hiding meant to us. Hiding meant <laughs> that we could not text each other's phones. His parents knew my phone number and so when we had broken up in 2011, or at least from what they knew, they said that he couldn't be friends with me because they felt as if it were better if he just had a clean slate and, you know, just cut all ties so that it wasn't harder on either one of us for the breakup. And so they couldn't even know that we were friends. So we had to hide everything from them. We would download a texting app. We had WhatsApp, Text Plus, any texting app, you name it, we most likely had it so that we could communicate. We also couldn't call each other's phones. Um, anytime I wanted to call Jeevan, I would have to call him from the star six seven phone number and then call from restricted. And so it was hard. I ended up just saving his number as star six seven four oh eight, blah 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 because I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of typing that in every single time. And so it just made it easier for me and so that I wouldn't have to worry of, did I accidentally call him from my real phone number or did I restrict it? 
And so that was hard because I could never receive a phone call from him. I could only be the one to call him. Um, don't get me wrong, we had a lot of communication. We mainly Skyped. Um, I don't know if we had FaceTime at the time, but eventually we went on to FaceTiming. And we there was never, never really a moment that we didn't communicate. It was mainly just, it made things a lot more difficult when it came to finding ways to communicate. But we always found a way around it. Just a little side note, uh, Jeevan's family found out about us dating officially in August of 2015. Now my birthday is August 24th, and so that year when I turned 21 in 2015, Jeevan called me on my cell phone from his cell phone for the first time ever, and I know it sounds crazy because it's something so small, um, but to us it's a huge deal because he was never able to call my cell phone directly. And so when I saw the phone call come up, I was all excited, I screenshotted it, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to save this forever. And so I still have the screenshot of him calling me at midnight on August 24th. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So, like I said, there were a lot of ways that we hid. Um, another way that we would hide is, for the most part, Jeevan's family all live in Fresno, out of state or out of the country even. So we never really had to worry about running into one of them when we were out at the mall or at the movies, anything like that. But there were some incidents where um, we would run into a family friend of his mom or his dad and we would be holding hands and then we would have to let go and walk our separate ways so that they wouldn't know that we were together. And we didn't want that coming back to his family. The reason we were so scared of someone else catching us was because of the repercussions of him, you know, of us getting caught. Um, his family had said that they would disown him. His family said that he would get kicked out if they were to find out we were still together. A lot of really intense things, life-changing things that we didn't want to risk. Um, so we we just hid. <laughs> That's pretty much the only way I can put it is that we hid. And so, yeah, we hid from some people in public. That was a really hard one because, you know, you're walking hand in hand with the love of your life and to have them let go because of someone else in front of you and not wanting to be seen or caught, it was tough. But we went through it nonetheless and it made us stronger. Um, another example of how we had to hide a relationship is, like I said, Jeevan's family lives in Fresno. And so there would be times during the year where he would go out there for a week, two weeks, sometimes just a few days, and we couldn't really communicate when he was out there. Um, we could text here and there, but we didn't want to risk his cousins or his aunts and uncles seeing his phone and seeing that he was texting me. I couldn't call him when he was over there because they're, they were usually always around. Up until this day, I have not met a single member of Jeevan's family, except for his sister. His sister was my friend before I even knew Jeevan, because we had a class together in high school. So, other than his sister, I've never met anyone else in his family up until this day. And so that was really hard for me, because it felt like when he would go to Fresno, to me it felt like if I didn't exist to him. Um, I know that sounds super dramatic and that's not exactly how I mean it, but I guess I just mean that it was hard for me because it, in a way I feel like he was living two lives, one with his family and one with me. He was the same person with both people, but it's like he had to hide me when he was around them. So it was just hard. It was really difficult. And one of the major things that helped us through that tough time and that tough situation was communication. The only way he was going to know how I felt was if I told him. And so little by little he started chipping away and doing things to try to fix the situation and, you know, understand how I felt. And luckily I have one of the best partners in the whole entire world. And he is so willing to listen to what I have to say and try to find a way to fix it. And so that honestly helped us a lot during that time. Um, those are pretty much the major things that I can think of how we hit our relationship. There were other things here and there that we had to do to hide, but those are pretty much the biggest ones. 
Now, like I said, it's up until this day I haven't met a single member in his family. And that's been really tough. Um, the impact that that's had on me from a 16 year old up until 21, well now 22 of course, it definitely took a toll on my self esteem. Up until about a year ago I started to, you know, it, back then it was hard because it was like, I just couldn't understand why they didn't want to meet me. I was willing to change my culture, my religion, um, my way of dressing, my way of who I am basically. You know, I considered converting to Sikhism. I considered learning to speak Punjabi. I considered learning to, I'm sorry, I considered changing the way that I dress, dressing in more traditional Indian clothing, learning how to cook Indian food, just all that stuff so that I could appeal to his family and to his parents more specifically. But the way that my parents raised me and my grandparents raised me is that you never change who you are for other people's acceptance. And so that is something that I definitely struggled with for the past five years. Like I said, up until this past year, I recently felt like, you know what, there's nothing I can really do about it. I am who I am. If they want me in, uh, as a part of their life, that's wonderful. I will be here with open arms always. I will never shut them out. If they want to have a relationship with me, I'm totally for it. I would love to. But at the same time, I'm not going to wait on it anymore. It did take a toll on my self-esteem. It took a toll on questioning my self-worth. Like, why don't they want to get to know me? What's wrong with me? But at the end of the day, I know and I have confidence that there's nothing wrong with me. That I am a good person. I love their son with all of my heart. I'm willing to give up my life for Jeevan. I, you know, he's my best friend. And at the end of the day, he makes all of this worth it. I have an amazing support system. My family is so freaking supportive. <laughs> I am like beyond blessed to have my parents, my um, Nana, my Tata, my Grandpa, my, my, you know, just everyone. My aunts and uncles, my tias and tios, my cousins, just everyone loves me and loves Jeevan and supports us, you know, all of my family has been nothing but supportive. And don't get me wrong, there was a time when they were like, no, 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 <laughs> this is not okay, you guys need to end your relationship because we're not okay with you being hidden. But at the end of the day, I think they saw the kind of man that Jeevan is and they saw how he takes care of me and how much he loves me and how much he is willing to fight for us to be together as much as I am. And so at the end of the day, the relationship is between him and I, not him and his family, not him and not um, him and my family. It is between Natalie and Jeevan. And so it took a long time for me to really accept that and understand it, but I am okay. As long as his family maintains a good relationship with him, then that's really all I can ask for. I hope that they are in our lives in the future. I hope, and sometimes I worry, you know, are they going to be there for when we get married? Are they going to be there if we have kids? Are they going to want them as a part of their life? But being in this relationship has made me realize that you have to tackle each thing one day at a time. If you try to look at the big picture too often, it, you will freak yourself out. <laughs> Trust me, been there, done that. And yeah, you really just have to take a deep breath, relax, look at the big picture, look at what you're fighting for, and fight. And that's all you can really do. Um, so I hope that this video helped at least one person out there. Even if it didn't, I'm glad that you guys now know my story of what it was like to be hidden for almost five years. It was nothing but worth it. I am who I am now because of what I've gone through. I am a stronger woman. I 
value myself. I know that I am worth the world and I know that I have a man who shows me that and I am eternally grateful for everything that I've gone through. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if you want to share a similar story that you've been through or a similar situation, anything, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!